So when I started here, um, there wasn't a space for events, and we have so much really cool stuff, and we have so many real um, star faculty on the library faculty who we need to want to get in front of the community, and they already were. They were um, going out and giving community presentations in other spaces, and we thought, why not bring them to us? So when I had the opportunity in creating a new Graduate Commons and freeing up that room and looking at the, the um, creating this space, which we named Goldfield, um, we, uh, we thought really hard about what this room should be. We saw it as serving many purposes. We saw it as a space to bring in the community to have these events. Those are external events. We also have a really large number of internal events. And by internal, I mean campus events. You need a, an appropriate space to do that. Right, when we designed this space, we did um, on paper dozens and dozens of various layouts. And we made sure that we purchased furniture in um, that was that could be reconfigured easily and we have a storage room off to the side so it'll hold the different versions of chairs we have the different versions of tables so the room can be set up in so many different ways because they really they don't have um, one way of ever doing a meeting and the meeting has to be so versatile for all the different functions that the library has. So Goldfield was actually designed to be this elegant beautiful space where we can invite our community in. But you can't do anything um, in any kind of a programming without having technology uh, be pervasive. And we didn't want the, the technology to overwhelm. So um, it was a wonderful partnership between LGA and our uh, AV group on campus to help to design the solutions that would kind of hide the technology a bit. The Goldfield Room has state-of-the-art audiovisual. It's probably as up to speed as anything else on campus in terms of its capabilities and, and functionality. Um, we have wood ceilings, which we thought were sort of a beautiful nod to old reading rooms, but they're done in sort of a modern way. And also the wood ceiling gives it an amazing acoustical property that um, a sophisticated meeting room uh, will need with that quality of audiovisual. So there are the wonderful drops from the ceiling, the cutouts on a, on a wood slatted panel ceiling where the projectors drop down and the uh, rack is all hidden behind a nice clean um, mahogany colored or cherry colored front. Um, we have our cameras, the video cameras, so that we can uh, record events in that space. Um, and we have done quite a bit of recording so that we could post them on our website afterward. We have glass marker boards um, throughout that room as well. We found that instead of um, the old whiteboards for uh, meeting notes and keeping track of meetings, we use now um, a back painted glass that is virtually um, indestructible. You can use any kind of markers where you don't find ghosting and, and they don't look weird or weathered after just a few uses. So the room um, has beautiful light fixtures. Um, it's a very upscale room. So that's what we did. That was the challenge of the room and uh, it ended up being really, it's, it's just so fabulous, an absolutely fabulous space. Um, and I think it's because it's so flexible. I just wanted to bring a level of elegance and um, I wanted to make a statement in that space um, and I think we accomplished it.